2026 is the year that email marketing makes a comeback and that's not because it suddenly stopped working. It's always worked. Trust me, my brands do thousands of dollars every single day just with email marketing alone. It's because brands avoided it because it was hard, it felt painful, it was messy, it felt a little outdated. There was never any innovation in any email marketing platform. So they decided to double down on meta ads and paid ads and all those sorts of things. But now that's gotten really hard and it's gotten really, really expensive. Well, email has remained really constant and it's one of those silent assassins that just keeps getting new sales. And now there is a really specific turning point that I'm seeing. It's a little bit like when Uber took over taxis or when Airbnb took over holiday lets. They took something that was really complex, old and outdated and made it really simple. And that's what we're now seeing with email marketing. Email marketing is no longer sending a newsletter out to a list and hoping they'll buy. It's about sending really specific messages to the right person at the right time by the right messaging choice. It's not just about email anymore, it's about SMS, it's about WhatsApp, it's about push notifications. And now we can do it all in one place simply. There's no duplicating campaigns and doing manual messy schedules or all the spreadsheets that you need to get in there. It's one spot, one campaign, multiple messages, multiple audiences, really simple, really easy. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. It's gonna change the way that you think about email marketing. It's gonna shift your focus from other marketing channels into this one or use this to complement those. And at the end of the day, it's gonna help you make more money on your e-commerce business. But before we do get started, I thought I'd introduce myself. This is the first time we're meeting. My name is Brendan. I've been growing e-commerce businesses for the last 15 years. And I use email as one of my core strategies to grow my own personal brands to six and seven figures every single month. I put videos out just like this every single week on my YouTube channel. I have over 45,000 subscribers and I'll just let you in on one little interesting stat. Over 70% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed. And that means they're missing out on these great tutorials. So if you're one of those 70 of the percent, why don't you become 30% subscribed to this channel and I'll let you know when my next tutorial goes up. But let me now show you how email marketing has changed. So I think the best way to demonstrate this change is to get deep inside a real brand. So we're gonna jump inside my brand. We're gonna open Klaviyo and we're gonna go inside the omni-channel feature. That's the feature that's changed everything. That's the one where we can send multiple messages to multiple audiences all from one spot. So. I'll show you how I've set it up for one of my campaigns. You can just copy along. Now, if you don't have Klaviyo, that's cool. I've put a link in my description. It's a free trial to get started uh, and you can just follow along what I'm doing inside the account and you can get one set up just as quick as I'm doing it. Okay, so inside my account here, for those of you that are familiar with Klaviyo, this campaign section here is pretty standard, right? So over on the left, we can create a campaign and we can send a normal campaign out to everyone as we normally would, like a, like a newsletter, you could say. And so this is how we would typically do it in the past, right? So we would create a campaign, we'd choose an audience and we'd choose whether it's an email or an SMS. And we just schedule these out over time. So this one here is for our Boxing Day campaign, which runs over a week and we break it up into VIPs and you know early access and then all subscribers. And we have to send multiple emails, for multiple messages to, to multiple audiences, right? So this takes hours. So as an example, here's a VIP early access email. Here's our all profiles emails, another all profiles reminder email, engage 90 days, another VIP email. And what we've had to do is manage the schedule externally. So, you know, look at a spreadsheet and, you know, plan it out, make sure we're using the right audiences and it gets really clunky. Okay. Whereas now what we can do in Omnichannel, you can see I've set up this campaign as the Boxing Day sale here and inside that Boxing Day sale, we've got all the emails. Now that isn't just like a folder or anything like that. This is a full campaign builder. Right? And not only are the emails set up correctly, we've been able to do SMSs inside them and we could do WhatsApp messages and we could do push messages and we could send them to the right people at the right time and we can see it all in one place and we don't have to go through and, and create it the way we have, right? So you can see we've got all of these in here, but we can see them nice and categorized here, but let's jump into the actual builder. So we're gonna click this here and this takes us into Omnichannel. And what we can see here is it's broken up into these little parts. We have this audience path here. So this is, you know, VIPs, our VIP profile, and that's a segment that we call VIPs. Uh, then we have another audience, which is our engaged audience, 180 day engaged. And again, that's one of our segments. And then we've got our all subscribers. Okay. This is a, one of our, our small test brands, right? So the cool thing about this is, is we can now create a path that only goes to this subscriber list, right? So we can create a VIP path. And so when we run VIP sales, we might do an early access. We only want to go to VIPs and we want to give them specific messaging. All right. So as you can see, this VIP path, we've got this Boxing Day launch and that's on 21st of December. The subject line is just a VIP subject line and then we do a VIP SMS list. But if we wanted to, 
We could absolutely do a push notification or we could do a WhatsApp message. I just don't have it connected right now. So what I could do is this launch, I could send an email to people who like emails. I could send an SMS to people who like SMS or a WhatsApp or a push notification. Four different messages to the one audience and they get their preferred messaging choice, right? Super awesome, okay? And then I can basically build out over the time. So then I'm gonna do a Boxing Day reminder, et cetera, et cetera. And I can see that path finish. That's the VIP path. But for this same campaign, we have different customer profiles, right? We wanna send different messages to at different times. So instead of building it out one campaign at a time, we can build it inside this omnichannel builder. So now if we think about the 180 days engaged, these guys aren't my VIPs, so they're not gonna get the VIP emails. They're gonna get the public emails to my engage launch, right? So these guys get the email, that's a different subject line, a different email, and then they get a different email again and again and again. So we can start to see these emails at different dates. And by seeing it in this overview, we can see that the emails aren't clashing, right? Nothing's clashing. But we can do the same thing here. We can add either a text message or push notifications or WhatsApp, right? Really cool. So that's one path around 180 days engaged. And then here's my all subscribers. So, you know, when we launch a campaign to the public, we would send it to everyone. So that's our all boxing day launch. And they'd also get an SMS message. But we don't want to always be sending to all subscribers because that's not great. That's not smart, right? We want to, we only want to send to them, you know, when we're doing something important, we want to try and get them back into our list. So we skip the next one and that's only goes to engaged. And then we do a last chance and so on and so on. But what you can see here is that we've been able to craft a, campaign that goes to the right subscribers at the right time with the right message okay so that's been pretty easy when you see it laid out like this but where it gets really cool is if you go back into here these emails here can effectively be scheduled to go at certain times of the day we can edit the content or we can clone them so basically the way we built this out was super simple we created this one email here and then all we do is we click clone and then we can clone it into a different path or create a brand new path, which means we don't need to create the email over and over and over again. We just clone this email. Let me give you an example. Let's do it. I'll click clone. We'll put it in, just for example, put in 180 days engaged. It goes into here. Uh, we can now see it's this one. And then we just can go in and edit this, right? So we can edit the message itself. We click edit and it brings you to a... Uh, what you see is what you get editor. We just click edit in here and we can go through and edit this all together the way we normally would with any Klaviyo campaign. So we can edit the image, we can edit the text, we can drag in products, we can put coupon codes, all the normal stuff that we can do. And then we can just keep cloning this as we go. So we just use one email as our base, we modify it and we turn it into the next one, right? And so we can go back and we click save and return. We can edit the subject lines. We can even do, you know, different split tests. We can do everything that we normally could do with campaigns or flows, but now we can do it in this omni-channel experience. It's super cool, right? So that's the way that we're doing it. We're making sure that we're messaging everything else. But where it gets really cool is once this is all up and running, I might zoom out so you can see what it looks like. Once this is all up and running, you can effectively see the performance of these emails all in one spot. So no longer do you need to like, you know, decipher every campaign one by one. You can just click show performance and you can basically start to see what uh, segments are working well, you know, what's, what the click-through rates on emails are working, you know, all the different statistics that you need to show at a campaign level. But the cool thing is you're going to see it at this one day and then maybe when you're getting to the next few days, you might be able to change the campaign around. You might be able to twist, uh, you know, optimize something to be a little bit better. And it means that we can see in real time what's happening for a campaign throughout its time. Whereas if you go back to the old way, uh, let me just go back to the old way, I'll exit here. Uh, you sort of have to go through and decipher this manually on, on how things are working, right? And it just gets clunky, messy, and it's outdated. I'm telling you, it's like when Uber took over taxis, the email marketing hasn't changed for so long and now it's finally changing. So let me show you how you can create one of these omnichannel campaigns from scratch. So we go up to the normal process and we click create campaign. But instead of choosing single channel, which is the old version, we're now going to choose omni channel. So I'll call this test omni campaign and we're going to click continue. And in here, you can see this path builder. So we would go through and we would click audience, we click select audience. We would maybe call this engage 90 days, whatever your audiences are. I like to name my audiences based on the segment they're in. And what we can do is we can choose the segments. So you can see I've got all, we've got lots of segments here. So we choose the segment that we need. So we'll do 90 days engaged. And that then puts them here in the list. Then we can do an exclusions, things like that that we need to do. We can set our UTM tags, all the stuff that we want to. And what this has now done is created a path. 
And so this now is the path that applies to that audience, right? Then we can add another path, which might be uh, whatever other segment you want it to be. So we might do all subscribers, okay? We then go all here and we've got a segment that is all profiles and we click save and returns, create another path, right? So that's one way to do it. You could then build out a path all the way through with all the emails that you want, and then you can clone it and then change the messages. So you've got this option here, which allows you to clone a path. So we could build out this entire path and just click clone, it does it again, and then you just choose another segment. So you can see it's just really simple and easy to use. This has been a game changer for us. It means that we can basically build out a campaign from start to finish. I wish I was using this during Black Friday so I could build out my entire Black Friday campaign from start to finish. So email gets easier, it gets more effective, it gets more relevant. People like receiving it. And it's not just email anymore, it's WhatsApp, it's SMS, it's push notifications. So Omnichannel has changed the way we do email marketing at a campaign level. But if you wanna learn how to do email marketing at a flows level, I've got a video right here that is gonna teach you exactly how to do flows, what flows that you need, how to install them, how to set them up, and how to get the most money out of Klaviyo.